Hey everyone, Tech Dad here, and in today's video, we are going to do a deep dive of the Ugreen NAS that I've been using for about three weeks now. I posted an introductory video on this NAS, and a lot of folks had a lot of questions about it. So I got a lot of comments and a lot of feedback, and so I thought it would be appropriate to give a more thorough deep dive and try to answer some of those questions that you all had. Because this product is actually pretty darn good and very useful and leaps and bounds beyond using just a standard external hard drive. And this is not sponsored content. Ugreen is not paying me to talk about this. I just wanted to do this to address the comments and questions that you all have about this NAS. And so if you're thinking about getting a Ugreen NAS, maybe this will help you decide if this is the right decision or not. So in today's video, we are going to discuss those common questions, including why is a NAS better than a regular hard drive? Can you access your files remotely? Can you share files with links like you can with cloud storage and more? So with that said, let's get into it. All right, so question number one, one, why is using a NAS better than using a traditional external hard drive? Well, first of all, it's a heck of a lot safer. So I actually just did a video on how to use external hard drives with your iPad, and while this hard drive is great, there are some drawbacks to it. For example, if this hard drive fails, all your data on it is lost forever. Well, a NAS is specifically designed to keep that from happening because a NAS uses multiple hard drives. And the software and technology inside of the NAS juggle your data across those hard drives using RAID. Well, what's RAID, Tech Dad? What do you mean by RAID? Are you talking about like the roach killer? Is that what you're talking about? Are you talking about going into Molten Core with 39 of your friends and killing Ragnaros? Is that it? No, no. Those are different kinds of RAID. So when I'm talking about RAID in terms of the NAS, it means redundant array of independent disks. And this is a technology that combines multiple hard drives into a single logical unit to improve performance, provide redundancy, or both. Which means that your NAS uses all those hard hard drives to make data moving faster, and it also makes things safer. So I'll show you here, when I actually set up the NAS, you create a storage pool, and you get to select what kind of storage pool you want. You can just do a basic one, which really has nothing complicated, it just sets up the NAS to store stuff in a hard drive. Or you can choose some RAID formats, and the more drives you have, the more configurations you can do, the safer your data is, and the faster data can transfer and move around. So you'll notice the NAS that I have has four bays, so I can put up to four hard drives into this NAS. So that's super powerful. That way if one drive fails, your data is not lost. The other drives have you covered. And it's the NAS technology that makes that work. Not to mention, it's a heck of a lot faster than this. So even if I connect this via wire to my iPad and try to move files, it took about three minutes to move four and a half gigs of data. Well, you can see here, I'm moving data to my NAS through the network and it's about three times as fast. It took about a minute to transfer these three files. So the NAS is way faster because because of the technology that it's using. And honestly, that's just with the basic setup. I don't even have a RAID setup going, and it's still faster than a standard hard drive. Okay, next question, can you access your files remotely? Yes, you absolutely can. And what's cool about your NAS is you have to log into it. So I've logged in on my iPad through the app, and the app is actually really impressive, and you can manage this NAS from any device that you want, iPad, your phone, Mac, PC, whatever. But the iPad app is actually really good. Good. And so I tested this. I went to Panera Bread to see if I could access my files. I jumped on their network. It's safe because I have to remotely log in through the app. And once I'm logged in, I can access my files easy peasy. So yes, you can access your files from anywhere where you have an internet connection. That makes it way better than a standard hard drive because you don't need to carry the drive around. All of your stuff is with you wherever you go. Okay, next question. Can you share your files with links? Absolutely, you sure can. So if you're using Google Drive or iCloud Drive, all those services, offer the ability to share files with links. Well, you can absolutely do this with your NAS. And so you can select a file and there's three dots out to the right side. You can pick that and there's a way to copy the link and send that to anybody you want. I tested this with my kiddos. I sent this to my tech sons and they all could see my video. So if you want to use this for business purposes or whatever, you can absolutely share your files with links and you can set permissions for those links as well, just like you can with Google Drive so people can just view it or view it and download it, edit the document, whatever. All right, next question. So people asked, hey, can multiple users use the same NAS? And a lot of folks ask that because you can use your NAS to back up your photo library from your iPhone. And the answer is yes, you can absolutely do that. You can set up multiple users. So I am an admin for my NAS, but I can set up other users and give them specific access rights. I can set up folders specifically for them, or I can set up shared folders that we all use. So if you want to add your whole family to your NAS setup and have 
them all back up their photo libraries, for example. You can do that. And I give a walkthrough on how to back up your photo library in that other video. And I'll be leaving a link to that video in the description below. So if you want to check out the basics of this NAS and how to set it up and just how it works in general, check out that video. Now there were some other questions such as should you use a NAS as your total backup and not everybody recommends that because if your house catches fire and the whole NAS is destroyed you have lost all your data. So some people like to use a NAS in conjunction with cloud storage and I cover how to do that in the other video where you can connect your NAS to Google Cloud Storage. So you can get it all to talk to each other if you wanted to. But yes if you're absolutely wanting to be the safest you can be in case your house burns down or something like that you can combine traditional cloud storage with the NAS. All right that's my deep dive on using this Ugreen NAS. It's actually a really cool product and a lot of people are looking for one this year especially around the holidays. Let me know if you have further questions about it please leave a comment below I'm happy to help you out. That's all I got for you if you like this sort of content please like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.